What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope y'all have an amazing day as usual. I'm back with another YouTube video. So you're probably wondering, Drew, why are you dressed in such a nice shirt? Well, today I actually got baptized and got confirmed in my church. That is a W right there. But before I get into today's video, make sure to click the like button, click the subscribe button, and always comment down below. It really, really helps out with the video. So, yes, today I have gotten baptized and confirmed at my church. It feels great to officially be a member of my church. And it took a while for me to get confirmed. I had to wake up early on Sunday mornings. Um, and I had to go to church an hour before to go to confirmation class, which wasn't really fun. But I think it was definitely worth it in the end to be um, confirmed at my church. So. There's American Dream Mall, you guys. The biggest shopping mall in America. I've actually never been there. I feel like that place is more of a nightmare because it took so long to build and there were so many issues to build it. And that place is so big, you'd probably get lost in there. Yeah, I've never been to American Dream. Comment down below if you have. You guys see the Pulaski Skyway there? There's one of the landfills right there. Under all that grass is a bunch of garbage. There is a better view of the Pulaski Skyway, guys. That first, uh, that first view wasn't that good. This is a much better view, and we'll actually be going under it. All right, y'all. This plane is landing in Newark. Look at how close it is. Look at how close this United plane is. And there's the Newark port, guys. And right here is Newark Airport, the largest hub for United Airlines in the country. Been to that airport many times. Anytime I fly, I always fly out of Newark. There's a Spirit plane. And a bunch of United. Who doesn't love Spirit Airlines? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a joke. And there's an American Airlines plane right there. Staten Island, here we come. All right, so I'm gonna be recording us going across the uh, Gothels Bridge uh, to get into Staten Island. It's a very, very nice bridge. And I think it was recently uh, renovated. So here we go across the Gothels Bridge into Staten Island. cute ducks right there so we're at uh willowbrook park and um we're just gonna walk around for a little bit we're right by uh the pond here it's pretty here nice and peaceful as you can see the pond is very pretty but if you look closely the water is actually brown pretty but anyways if you actually look at staten island on a map um staten island is really green there's a lot of parks and um you know like wild and wildlife here and it's, it's definitely the greenest borough the bronx is also pretty green too because you have the bronx zoo van Cortland park pelham bay um crotona park got a lot of parks in um the bronx as well and the botanical gardens of course so yeah the bronx and uh, staten island are definitely the greenest boroughs something about staten island though is it's not a very diverse borough i mean there's a lot of different races here but it's majority white definitely the least diverse borough in new york 
That's a carousel right there, y'all. Check that out. Oh, that's dope. One thing about Staten Island is the traffic here is crazy. It's not as bad as Manhattan, but there's still a lot of traffic in Staten Island. I mean, just look. It's a bumper to bumper. All right, guys, so I was actually wrong about Staten Island being 75% white. I checked another website, um, and the other website said that Staten Island was 60% white, so. And I believe the 60% uh, the website because I've been seeing a lot of other races and ethnicities here in Staten Island, so I'll probably go with 60%. 75 different websites uh, tell you different things though that's the thing so we're gonna cross here um, something I want to say is um, Staten Island is known for having some of the thickest New York accents the I think people in New York that have the thickest accents live in Staten Island a lot of people might confuse my accent for uh, a New York one, but I actually have a Jersey one. See, in New York, people don't say they're ours. I do. So, yeah, that's the difference right there. Um, like here in Staten Island, people will be like, um, they'll say here instead of here. Or, um, what else? Forget about it instead of forget about it. You know, just stuff like that. So. Yeah, you'll definitely find thick New York accents here in um, Staten Island. Guys, look at those fire trucks right there. Those are definitely different from the fire trucks I'm used to seeing. Well, they're not really fire trucks. They're more used for like, I guess, electrical stuff because it looks like one of those uh, Verizon trucks. But FDNY has some dope fire trucks. Okay, so our next stop is um, Rail Fanning. So. Now, Staten Island does not have the typical New York City uh, subway system. It actually has the Staten Island Railway, which um, it's pretty much just like the subway, but it's just different names. So I'll probably be here to see about two trains because there's one going to Tottenville arriving in three minutes. And then there's one going to Illidingville or how do you pronounce that? Illidingville? I, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see. Um, the MTA is a much better transit system than New Jersey Transit. I said it. It's much better. New Jersey Transit is crap. New Jersey Transit is always late. Well, the MTA, it, it can be late too sometimes, but the MTA is just more reliable, I think. They have more updated systems. Their stations are newer. Um, the only thing with the MTA is that there are some crazy-ass people on the subway. I'm talking... People that break dance, people that try to sell you, sell you stuff, crackheads, homeless people. It's New York, but this is not, you know, but that's in like Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx. You don't see that type of stuff in Staten Island, which is good about Staten Island. It's definitely the most peaceful borough for but sure. On New Jersey Transit, um, New Jersey Transit, you don't see crazy stuff. You rarely do. I mean, especially on the uh, commuter trains, you never see anything crazy. Like, it's usually pretty quiet. Um, most people just mind in their business. Although, there was a video of a woman on a fully packed train going to New York City. It was one of the double-deckers. Uh, this woman was, she had her purse on a seat. And it was just standing room only. And um, she was refusing to give up her seat, which made people kind of pissed off. Which made people kind of pissed off. So, we're currently passing the um, Staten Island Mall. This is the main mall here in Staten Island. You can see there's plenty of stores and there's more as we head up. So I'm going to show you what the Staten Island Mall looks like, at least from the outside. There's some buses on my left. Both of them were not in service. There's a Bed Bath & Beyond. A couple stores here like Verizon, Huntington. We have a little supermarket. Spelled L-I-D-L, Little, Primark. 
this is the main part of the Staten Island Mall here. There's Macy's and Dave and Buster's as well. There's Dick's, Staples, Starbucks, and then there's Marshall's and DSW shoes as well. BP, Wendy's, Orange Theory, it's a gym, PD, Richardson and Son, Bob's Discount Furniture, Retro Fitness, and Trader Joe's, and that's the end of the mall, guys. Guys, this is kind of a back road we're going down here. We're coming, we're leaving Staten Island now, and we're kind of going down this uh, road that has houses on one side, and then it's just uh, trees on the left. Got a lot of townhouses here. There's a lot of um, townhouses here in uh, Staten Island. They're everywhere. We're at Signs Road and Victory Boulevard. I'm back home, as you guys can see. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. So that was my tour of Staten Island. And um, I never got to show the clip of me getting baptized. Um, sorry about that, but anyways.